you know, obviously we're looking forward to it, but I think the fans are more excited about it than we are. They, they bought more tickets than we've sold since, I think, 19, whatever it was, 90, before you were born, so I'm sure. Uh, 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 not everybody, Mike. No. Uh, uh, Michael Benjay had a few more turnovers tonight. Is, is that a concern for you? A few more? Three's not bad. <laughs> Jim, what's been your view of uh, I don't get concerned about these things. That's for you guys. <laughs> you guys get concerned about it, right? But we'll try to fix it. But I don't get as concerned. Uh, what's been your view of uh, Michael Carter Williams start? Well, he had an unbelievable start. Uh, I texted his mother and I said it must have been the coaching. And she, of course, immediately texted him back and she said, You need my coaching. <laughs> Uh, you know, he's had an unbelievable start. I watched, I only got to watch the first, the, 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 uh, the Chicago game because I didn't get to the reception for some reason on the first game. But you know, and, and he's, he's got a great situation. The great thing, what I try to explain to players, he's the 11th pick and they're committed to him. So if he goes 3 for 17, he's starting. When they play again. Uh, if he goes to a team later in the draft, like the San Antonio Oklahoma City, which happens, he ain't coming back from three for seventeen, or he wouldn't even—he might not even get a chance to be out there. That's the importance of getting drafted high. Uh, they commit to you, and you are able to play through your mistakes. Now, I mean, he's had three unbelievable games and I think he will have good games but he's it's not going to happen every night it's a long season and uh, he plays so hard and he's playing a lot of minutes and uh, it, that will I'm sure take the, its toll on him before you know, long night after night and you're playing in that league you're going against guys like Stephon you know Curry and being guarded at the other end by Clay Thompson, who I think is probably one of the best defenders in the league. He was with us, he's been with us with USA Basketball. And, you know, Derrick Rose isn't Derrick Rose yet, but, you know, you play against those guys, and, you know, the Chris Pauls and the Darren Williams and all these guys. And it's a tough position to play, and uh, he's got off to a, a fabulous start. But, you know, we saw him have monstrous games for us against good teams, Indiana, you know, teams like that. So he's capable. And I think it boils down to, you know, he was four for six from the three, and then last night he was he didn't make the three. So if he makes four threes, he's going to have big games because he's going to get to the basket, he's going to get fouled. And it, it really comes down is, you know, is he going to make some, some of those threes? And when he does, he's going to have monster games. Uh, but he's in a great situation, and uh, it just worked out. It couldn't work out better. That trade gave him the ball. Jim, I know you pretty much know you're going to get out of CJ and it's an exhibition. So, is there anything you can take away from what he does in these games? No, I, I just, uh, you know, again, that's something I don't worry about. You know, he's going to play, he's going to do what he does. And I don't like to worry about things I don't have to worry about. Hey, coach, um, just a quick reiteration again. Rising Canadian basketball, you have Tyler Rennes. The league features also Olivier Hanlon, Boston College, freshman of the year in the ACC. Um, Xavier Rayton Mays has to sit out this year, will be playing for Florida State. Um, what have you seen in terms of the growth of Canadian players? And are well, you I looking it's, more it's north of the board? It's obvious that the, you know, the Canadian players have, have obviously uh, gotten better. The, the, the younger, the junior team, or the national team, there's some younger players coming along that are, are really good players. That play at a high level, and uh, that's good for Canadian basketball. I think there's always been a lot of interest up there, particularly in the cities, Toronto, Montreal, and uh, I think uh, certainly that's an area that you're going to see some good players come out of. Okay. All right. Thank you.